Hey, everybody. Welcome to Code in Place. My name is Maron. And I'm Chris. And we are here to take you through an educational journey through the land of programming and Python. So what we'd like to do is to tell you a little bit about the class and have you meet the team of people responsible for Code in Place. So with meeting the team, I'm one of your instructors. My name is Maron Sahami. And I was born in Iran, where I spent the first few years of my life. And then my family moved to Southern California, to San Diego, where I went through high school. After high school, I came to college here at Stanford University, and I ended up staying for graduate school and getting a PhD in machine learning. I like to say before machine learning was cool, so that was quite some time ago. Then after graduate school, I spent a decade in the tech industry, mostly at Google, before coming back here as a professor. And part of the reason I came back here as a professor is because I love education and I love teaching. And I think that's just a hugely powerful thing to do in the world. One of the things you'll notice when I'm teaching is a lot of times I like to make Star Wars references or even use a lightsaber because I'm a big Star Wars fan. And I think it's important to just have fun while you're going through the educational process. Over to you, Chris. Thanks, Maron. So, hi, my name's Chris. I'm your other professor. Um, I am a professor at Stanford too. I do lots of things. I teach many courses. One of the courses I teach is in fact CS106A. That's the class that Code in Place is uh, built upon. Uh, and in addition to teaching, I also do research. We're investing all sorts of things in healthcare and education. Uh, we've come up with many algorithms and tools. One of the tools you might have even used if you've used an app like Duolingo. We've made the algorithm that helps Duolingo understand what you know as you work through their learning experiences. I was born in Nairobi, Kenya. I lived there till I was 12, and then I moved to Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, uh, which was home until I was 18 years old. Uh, and then I came to Stanford, where I had so much fun that I decided to come back as a professor. As you can imagine, a class like Code in Place is not just made by two people. There's an incredible team of people who are dedicated researchers and teachers uh, and learners themselves who have all come together to make the course that you're about to experience. Uh, and we wouldn't have been able to do it without them. An incredible thing about Code in Place is there's actually more than 100 people who have contributed to this course in some way. This is a big act of community service that has come from people at Stanford and beyond. Uh, so we hope that you enjoy what this great group of people have put together. Now that we've introduced the team, I'd like to tell you a little about what is Code in Place. Uh, so gather around, let me tell you a story. Code in Place is very simply a community service class. Uh, we're gonna teach you the first half of Stanford's flagship intro to programming class called CS106A. Uh, it's been offered to people around the world. We've had learners from over 150 countries from every walk of life have completed this class, all genders, all ages. Why should you take this class? This class is for fun. I could imagine anything that would be more fun than learning, and I could imagine learning anything more fun than how to program whole new ways of thinking and a very powerful and useful ability to make things. So come have a good time. You might also ask us, why are we doing this? Uh, Mara and I, we just love seeing people learn. It's why we chose the profession we chose. So we get the joy of watching you learn and you get a class for free. So what are we gonna do in this Code in Place class? The main learning goal is that you can walk out of this course knowing how to solve problems with Python uh, and that through this process, you find the joy of a new skill. But specifically, there are different units. We're gonna start by introducing you to the most important ideas of programming through a character called Carol. After that, we're gonna jump into console programming where you'll learn classics like variables and control flow. The next section will practice what you learn by making beautiful things uh, in a section we call graphics. And then after that, we're gonna introduce you to the most important data structures list in dictionaries. And when you put all that together, you really have a solid foundation of both programming and more specifically programming using Python. Along the way, there'll be lessons like this, but mostly you're going to be learning by doing. You'll be making a whole bunch of wonderful programs that you can share with your friends and family. Finally, let's go over a couple course values. One of the things that we value is that you learn more than just how to write a program that works. At Stanford, we try and take this to the next level. We think that there's a real craft to writing an elegant, scalable uh, program that other people could read 
because it has a nice style. And we're going to try and teach you that craft, that art form of how to problem solve and how to write stylistically elegant programs. We all believe that the best way to learn is by doing. So you spend a lot of your time in this course actually programming, and that's where a lot of the learning is going to happen. As a course value, we believe a lot of gratitude. We're so appreciative that you've taken your time to learn with us. Uh, and you know, if you have the great opportunity to interact with other students uh, and other teachers, we hope that you pass on that theme of gratitude. And then an important theme of our classes everyone's welcome. You know, we want people from all walks of life here, and we hope that you bring this value uh, to the class as well. In this course, we're all learners, we're all teachers. This is a collective community service project, and you are now part of this community. So help us make this work. With that, it's time to start learning. So hit continue, and then jump into the world of programming with Carol the Robot.